Monica Jenkins, better known as Harmony, and today I want to talk to you about frequencies. Now, we're all living on certain lifestyle frequencies that we may not even realize most of the time, but when we do, it really allows us to open ourselves up to new possibilities of creating a more positive, uplifting lifestyle. And so, I just want you to take this in today. Think about how you react are you re actually think about are you reactive or are you active because when you're actively creating the possibility of positivity things shift when you're reacting to negativity things are negatively created and it's really interesting how you watch that play out in a lot of people's lives so for instance, when you start the morning and you're late waking up and you're frustrated about that, you you put off this energy that's frustrated and uh, 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 and it just keeps creating itself. You know, maybe you're late waking up and then you can't find your keys and you get mad about that and then you get in the car and you're frustrated about the traffic jam because that's making you even more late and then you think you know you're angry that you're getting to work late and then people are picking that up and then uh, you know they're they're feeling that energy it's spreading out and so then you're mad because everyone seems to be rude to you but like really it's you putting off that energy and you know it carries on to the day you're thinking you're just having a bad day and carrying that energy on and and that's what comes about. And a lot of people live every day like that in a frustrated state of being where everything's against them and they're not getting where they want to be. Now here's the second scenario of waking up in that world. Imagine waking up late and being thankful that you had that extra little time in your dream state to heal and rest and relax. And you wake up and you're, you know, okay, I'm ready to go. I'm rested and relaxed and let's go. And you get ready and you can't find your keys. The same things could happen, but you can't find your keys and you're like, oh, I wonder where they're at. And so while looking for your keys, maybe you have to go and search into your bag and you find something else that you've been looking for along the way. And so it's like, maybe that happened for this other reason too. And while you're thinking of, you know, being you know, late, you're actually realizing that there's a traffic jam on your way that you could have actually been in. If you hadn't lost your keys and woken up late, you might have been in the accident that caused the traffic jam. And so that detoured you from you may you may be at the end of the accident and the traffic jam, but you weren't involved in it. Maybe because your life was guiding you from being involved in that. And so they just put you on a little other course to just detour you from the from bad things you know and uh, maybe it doesn't always work out like that but you know I like to think that it does and when you believe in that it does create itself to be and so then so say then you get to work maybe you're late but you're like hey guys I made it there was a traffic jam there's a really bad accident I'm really blessed I wasn't involved and I'm so thankful to be here Everyone else that you tell that and express that happiness, even if you don't say anything, you're just like, ah, I made it. Um, you know, people will pick up on that vibe and that's what they'll thrive off of as well. And so, you know, as your day progresses, you carry that on and you, you know, you have a good day and people are attracted to you because you're being a positive vibe. And I think that's the really big aha that I can get from knowing the difference between living in a negative frequency and living in a positive frequency. Because when I'm in a positive frequency, amazing things happen that I cannot explain and that people around me are sometimes in awe of. Uh, it's really funny, I don't know, I just ask, believe, and receive is really true um, when you work it. And I uh, definitely have a testimonial that that is true. And that when you do it, things will be creating possibilities for you. And so I just want to say that if you, you know, 
have been living on a negative frequency, I suggest that you read the, read the The Power of Love by Rhonda Burns. It was the most profound book I've ever read, and it has really changed the way I view the world, how I live in this world, and how I choose to create my lifestyle in this world. And so if you're looking to have a you know, more uplifting lifestyle, check out that book and practice living on the positive frequency of creating the better possibilities of life. So, till then, I hope you live a blessed and prosperous life and remember peace, love, and harmony. Thank you for your time. Bye.